Kristen Ashley here from Belts Bells. Today I have what I know will be a really fun and upbeat interview for everyone with the firecracker herself, NXT UK, uh, NXT UK's Zaya Brookside. How are you today, Zaya? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Good, thank you. Um, I know you bought a home last fall. Is this the new home? It is. This is my little bungalow. <laughs> it looks very nice. How are the new digs? Are you enjoying them? Oh, I love it. I'm like, yeah. Country, so it's right. Oh, pretty. It's quiet. <laughs> uh, yeah. How does it feel to be a homeowner at such a young age? <laughs> it's crazy. I, st I still, I say it now and I'm like, what? 22 and I'm a homeowner. It's still, I don't feel like it's going to sink in for a while. Sure. Well, you, you know, it's a motivating story to own a home at such a young age. Do you feel extra pressure or judgment because you're so successful so young? No, I feel, I feel inspired by myself. Like I look back and like I am, I'm from a council estate in the middle of Leicester. Um, I come from this normal family and I just feel like it's such, it's a story to tell, to inspire other people. Mm -hmm. And I, I honestly, hands down, believe that anyone can be in the position that I'm in at a young age. Like I had all the odds against me buying this house. Like, yeah. <laughs> the world's gone a bit crazy. <laughs> right, exactly. Um, well, you know, you surround yourself with positivity. Um, your social media is always filled with inspiring quotes and pictures. What inspires you? What motivates you and keeps you going when you're not feeling, you're not feeling it? <laughs> I think my closest friends and family, my partner, definitely he's, he's been my rock for a very long time. Um, but also who you follow on social media. Mm. I think that plays a huge toll on you and like I, I used to follow these really great fitness models and they look great. But if I'm having a bad day, all that, <laughs> all that did was get me down. <laughs> like, right. Oh, right. I, I yeah. feel that. But you have a lot to celebrate. I mean, you just celebrated um, six years of wrestling. So congratulations on that. That's huge. <laughs> Which means you started as basically a baby, but that's huge. And Almost half of it is with NXT UK. Um, would you say there's like favorite moments from your career with WWE? Oh, so many. My like my first experience with WWE is going to be something that I hold with me for the rest of my life, which was, well, there's kind of three things in one, really. Isn't there? <laughs> so the first is obviously wrestling EO Shirai, the Mae Young Classic. That was an absolute honor to be in that position and to be able to be in there with her was just crazy. Like I just got back from Japan. I'd done a couple of tours and now I'm wrestling her after training with her. And it was just, oh, crazy. I loved it, the whole experience. And then the second part is my dad's in the crowd watching me wrestle for the first time ever live. Yeah. <laughs> that was nuts. A huge stage at that. <laughs> oh, the pressure of that was insane. Right. We didn't speak to each other all day. <laughs> you were that nervous <laughs> like don't talk to me <laughs> we just didn't talk we were like passing ships <laughs> no, like, <laughs> oh, it's intense um no, it was just the way it needed to be at the time and it was great <laughs> yeah um you know you've gotten to know the nxt uk women outside and inside outside and inside of wwe pretty well including Piper Niven. Did you get a chance to see her debut last night on Raw? We saw a mysterious woman debut on Oh, Raw. right. <laughs> no, oh, I'm so proud of her. She deserves it. She's one of the nicest people I've ever met in my entire life. Like, I met her out in Japan, like, I think it was 2017, I want to say, was my first day in Japan. And I met her out there and three months in Japan on your own at, I was 18 oh, that's yeah. <laughs> she was there for me the whole time and that's where like the mammy things come from she's my mammy and I'm her baby because <laughs> she just took me under her wing and just protected me the whole time from she's been there ever since and she oh, she has so much to offer so much to, offer to, to wrestling to people she's so inspiring like mm -hmm. 
that's who to follow on social media. I'm not like, <laughs> I agree. I mean, she's a veteran and I hear nothing but nice things about her. I mean, I've never heard a bad thing about her. Um, would you ever debut in the States? Is that like on your bucket list? Oh, hundred yeah. <laughs> percent. That's what, yeah. yeah definitely. Would you like, if you could face anyone or team up with anyone, who would you do? I really want to wrestle Natalia. Really? Yeah. I think it might be a generational thing and okay is very technical like I am I think I could learn so much so much even just from even just from sitting in a locker room with that woman <laughs> I could learn so much but getting into the ring with her is always that's one of my that's what that's on the bucket list awesome um well, you know I would say some of the toughest women though are in NXT UK themselves uh we've got some new faces this year including including Miko Satamora the final boss. <laughs> I know that on uh, Twitter, you've been very positive and supportive of her wins, but are you going for that title? Is that something that you like? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's why we're here, right? No right. one wants to just sit there and watch everyone else be successful. <laughs> yeah, friend second, title first, right? <laughs> and I love seeing you be successful and I will back you the whole way. But when that opportunity comes for me to take that title, you got to go, you know? You got to take that and roll with it and show people what you're capable of. Exactly. Are there any new feuds brewing for you besides the title run? I don't know. We'll just... You're knocking them all down. <laughs> I just got rid of a PA. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, your feud with Nina Samuels uh, turned out pretty useful for you. And I would say like the maintenance staff of... Uh, where you are at too right cleaning bathrooms it was hilarious um and it all started with I mean basically she was saying not nice things about the Brookside family name is that really important to you family and the Brookside name so I've always said say whatever you want to me about me whatever but you don't bring family into it and you can't stand and say I'm a British wrestler and then slate on one of the best British wrestlers that this country has ever offered. Right. It just doesn't weigh up with me. <laughs> I'm disrespectful, right? <laughs> That's, yeah. Yeah. It's just, if you want to go far, you don't disrespect the people that pave the way. Right. And you never know who you come across later. I mean, he's teaching at the PC. Um, I've seen previous interviews where you've talked about taking wellness coaching and wellness courses online. Is coaching and teaching something you want to do? Um, I don't know. Like I've always kind of been drawn to it mm -hmm. and I like helping people, but I don't know if I could say that I'm a coach. You know what I mean? You'll be like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I love helping people though. So I, I don't know. Maybe that is an option further down the line, but right now I'm, I'm happy where I am. <laughs> Were the courses difficult? I, I used to work in wellness communications. So I had to help develop wellness courses online and they're pretty hard. I mean, they're a lot harder than people would think. It's not just exercise and eating right. Um, are you using, the, you think you're gonna use the courses in the future? Possibly, yeah. I mean, it's very, even if you don't use it for other people, it's so beneficial for yourself. Right. Like I think it's so important to be healthy and eat right. Like I wasn't eating right. I've, I've had problems <laughs> with eating since I was like 14. Hard. It's so hard. And even just as simple as your micronutrients, like I was so lethargic and I was tired all the time, morning all the time. And simple things like bruising easily. Yeah. Like that can be down to your diet and you're just not even aware. Right. So I think it's it's good for just yourself and your own wellness. That's that's a good point. Um, and it's I like that you have other hobbies. I mean, it'd be pretty easy to get like super into wrestling and just make that your life when your whole family is a wrestling family <laughs> um but you have other interests and you post about them often um you know you've talked about like cruelty free beauty products and you know you talk about your pups often is animal rights something that you're pretty passionate about <clears throat> um I wouldn't go as far to say animal rights like I'm not I don't like I don't like to push my opinion on other people but I will, I will share my opinion or my research, for example. Like I turned vegan almost a year ago now 
and mm-hmm. I've just gone completely cruelty free since and a lot is hidden from us in terms of what cruelty free is and not many people understand that something as simple as your deodorant can be tested on things so it's just it's more of a sharing of awareness I like to say that's I mean it's helpful right and why not use your platform for something good you do the same thing with body positivity would you consider your advocate for that or you just like to share your thoughts on that too no you be you (laughs) Like, like I'm all for it like we we look at social media and we think this is how we should be or should look or whatever we should eat this we shouldn't eat this no like if you're happy and what you're doing is not affecting anyone else then you go be you you chase your dream you you find that goal you find what you want to do with your life and do it that's awesome Um, well it's all stuff to be even just a self-advocate for just advocate for yourself and um, you know, I really appreciate the time. I know we're running out of time here. I, I really appreciate that you give me the time today to learn more about you and what uh, NXT UK has in store for the fans. I like to end the interview with just one fun question. Um, I know you're a fan of American Idol. <laughs> and I know they just wrapped up a season. Um, so let's say that you were auditioning for American Idol. What song would you pick <laughs> to, to sing? <laughs> That's so hard. I know. I can't. <laughs> Like, people tell me that I can, and I'm like, mm, no. But I think, oh God, that's rough. <laughs> Is there, like, a song that you sing a lot, like, in the car? Or... I like country music. Okay. I like Yours by Russell Dickinson. I like okay. that. But I feel like I'd pop out, like, a Celine Dion. Not very well, but I'd go with cool. a <laughs> no one can sing Celine like Celine, but we can all try in the shower in the car, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, maybe we'll see you one day. Who knows, right? Maybe uh, and WWE will have a crossover, and we'll see you on American Idol, and you can finally meet Lionel Richie. That'd be fun. Oh, I would. Love- <laughs> he seems like such a great guy. And That's then what I hear. maybe my next hobby could be music lessons. Get a well, there. You go. She can work some magic. <laughs> there you go. Um, well thank you again for taking the time to speak with me today and um, we're definitely going to keep an eye on one of the best women's divisions in all of wrestling and we can't wait to see what you have in store for us next so thank you thank you so much 